Today we're going over all the releases set to drop this month in December. And I'm telling you right now, we got a couple bangers dropping. Let's go ahead and get started with the first shoe. We have the Air Jordan 12 Phantom. Retail is going to be 200 bucks on this shoe. What do you think about these? 200. Looks like an OVO, like an OVO 12 kind of vibe. Like, yeah, it's giving you something like that. Nice little premium look. What, 200? It's a lot of shoes coming out right now. And I think to That's have gonna this- That's going to be the new price. But also like, why would you spend your $200 on this when you could spend it on the new 11s that are coming out, the Black Smith 3s, like there's a lot of other shoes that I think people might prioritize. Jordan 12s hold a good value, but at the same time, it's like, I think people have other priorities over this sneaker. Right. Not it's like they don't like it. Shoe, right. But that's why me, I'm like 200. Maybe if it came into like 180. Okay. Right. And then it, that $20 mark is something. I don't know about it. <laughs> but that $20 mark really make a difference. And you came in at 180. Mm -hmm. Now it's like less decision. And it's a white shoe. Yeah. You know that creamy. But it's, it's going to get tore up. It looks like it's a nice shoe. Yeah, for sure. Overall. Um, this time of the year? No. Bad. You're gonna have to get it and this hold on to it. This should've been a summer release. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this is like, let's just dump them before the year is over. They could've had it know. out there and just. Or maybe it got pushed back and now it's now, you know? I don't know. Yeah. Timing is bad. Either way, I like the shoe. I would give this shoe a solid like, I don't know, seven and a half, eight out of 10. I was thinking eight, I was you know thinking eight, so. I think it's a solid shoe. Yeah. Uh, I just wouldn't say it's a, a rush out and go get it type cop. Try to get them for, especially because at the end of the day, if this shoe is worn, it's gonna look different. So I would probably, if I if I know I'm gonna wear this shoe as a worn shoe, I'll probably go after a worn pair to get them for a lot cheaper. Right. Unless you want to be like get that first fresh icy wear out, but like the soles are gonna be dirty and everything after that. So right. it's like you might as well just go for. Well, that's what I was worn. saying at that at that yeah. 200 mark. You don't get a lot of wears right. out the shoe. Right. You know. I feel that. Oh yeah. If you guys didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is. The DNA show. Hey. So this next one, I think is a women's release. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. This it is looks like a women's. Air Jordan 4 net. So you know how you have the nets on the side and on the tongue the and everything like thing. that? They just like, it's, it's funny because we have the reimagined series, right? Yeah. But it's almost like reimagining the sneaker in a sense, right? Like you could see that in that kind of <sighs> thought process. I'm of torn it. on this shoe though. It's, it's, it's cute for girls and kids, I would say. But I don't really put that as an adult shoe. It looks like the leather's nice on them. And it's also interesting, the back tab. You see how it has the holes in it? Normally it doesn't have that. It's just like the little pods that yeah. stick out. It's actually got holes in the back tab, so it's like a net on the back tab too. It's like a pure money four with this exaggerated net blowing up the top of the shoe. A little bit different. It looks torn. like it's premium, the box looks nice. I think overall, this is one of those like, if it's your cup of tea, you're gonna enjoy this shoe and yeah. you're probably gonna get it for a good price. Yeah, cause everybody ain't gonna rush out you know for this saying? shoe. I think this is gonna be one of those. And I hope it don't go over 150, 160. <laughs> well, I think it retails like 200, 210. Oh, yeah. yeah. So again, this time of the year, you know, you get it if you like it, but you probably might be able to catch it on something. Right, you got another white shoe. Take your time on it, you know what I'm saying? Like. Not saying don't get it, but like maybe take your time. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Catch maybe it was, an kind of like right there, outlet sneaker. Yeah. Is that outlet sneaker? I mean, it's it's not ugly. It's not ugly. I think it's t bad timing. And it's not for everybody. And it's not for everybody. Uh, okay. And it's not worth two to you. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section about that one, because I'm sure everybody's gonna be chiming in, giving their two cents. Next up right here, we have the gold toe. Air Jordan 1 High OG, the patent leather vibe. Now retail on this is 180, but it's a golf version. So it's got a golf bottom. I'll rock them, I'll rock them like I do my other ones. We got the high top version. And I got the low top And we got too. the low top yeah. version. So. Yeah. Well, we don't have a golf version. But not the golf version. Is this a shoe that's like, well, oh, I didn't get the other one, so I'll go after these. Are you gonna actually wear the golf bottoms in public? Is that a thing? Like, I don't think people notice that. I've seen people wearing golf bottom low Jordan 1s and highs uh, out in the streets with an yeah. outfit and stuff. I've seen it, actually just seen a couple this week alone. Yeah, people don't really pay attention to that. They like the shoe. If anything, you can say, you know, better traction for the winter time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All terrain. Right. 
<laughs> so and it's patent leather. Like the it's like ultimate durable. <laughs> like this might be the new way. <laughs> this is the way to go. Instead of buying rain boots. All right. Uh, overall, again, I have the high top. You have the high top. We like the shoe. Like the shoe. Get uh, a lot of compliments on these shoes. I would prefer the Nike Air branding, but you know it's got the gold to Jumpman and the golf and stuff. I'm not mad at that. Mm -hmm. At the same time, uh, either way, clean shoe, pass for me. But I could understand why people would get it and definitely to wear these as playing golf. Uh, I would wear them for golf. You know what I'm saying? More waterproof and everything. I wouldn't like, buy them for anything else, but I definitely would buy them for golf. Again. But I'm like, who's golfing in high top ones? Me. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like what golf shoes? I wear high tops. But what time. golf shoes do you see that are high tops? Like actual, None. like you go into the pro shop and you see. None. You know what I'm saying? None. I've never seen them. So that's my thing. Also, everything is lows. That's all I'm saying. So maybe they could have made a low top version instead. Nah. Okay. Just a high top. Yeah, I still rock the high okay. tops. Okay. All right. I golf in high tops. He does. He really be <laughs> out there wearing a pair of Jordans. I'll be wearing some fours. <laughs> he wears some elevens. <laughs> oh, the elevens I golf the most in. All right. Soul Fly. Air Jordan 12 retails $225, Baroque Brown. We've seen people get these recently. Materials look great on the shoe. You see it says Soul Fly on the tongue right, right. there. Got right. that stitched in where it says uh, the two, three, you how it used to be. Mm -hmm. uh, you got the cracked leather, which is like, kind of you like it, but you don't tie yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I'm saying? I kind of go back and forth. You got a premium leather on the mud guard, nice bag, nice du uh, dust bag, the box. All these different elements to the shoe at the end of the day simple clean nice details nice materials but brown but brown but that's also good for the time of the year makes sense fall colors but at the same time you got the am am and year 12s similar to these right mm -hmm. so it's like we already seen a collab that was similar it's not the same it's not the same but similar so are people gonna choose up are they gonna want both? Are they gonna not like them at all? Are they gonna this say this gonna one's sit. better than the other one? This What's gonna, gonna happen? Sit. It's gonna sit. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know many people to wear brown shoes. The only thing I can say is, I think, yeah, they might sit in certain areas, but there's gonna be places where they don't even come out. So it's gonna be hard to get, yeah. if that makes sense. So you might have to pay a couple bucks to say, hey bro, grab me a pair, send me, send me, send me some. some or whatever. I think it might be that type of scenario. Um, Cause you're not gonna just see this shoe at every store, right? You know what I'm saying? So I think that's good, and I think that if you like the shoe, go get it. I think I need to see it in hand, but based off of the photos, it look like a really nice shoe. And I wouldn't mind having these in my collection, but I'm not like rushing out for well, it. I was gonna say, <laughs> uh, if I if I say, hey, I'm only spending X amount of dollars this month on sneakers, and there's so many releases and stuff. I think when you see some other brown shoes and some other things that's coming out, you might be like, ah, I want to, but I might wait. Right. It's one of those sneakers that's like, oh, you ended up getting those. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, how often are you gonna wear them though? Yeah, I feel you. That's my thing. It's like, it's not an ugly shoe. It's just a hard and wear, hard to wear shoe. Like, what can you wear? Brown outfits. That's dude got straight brown. Look like UPS. <laughs> <laughs> so but that's the thing though like again very clean shoe i think they did a really good job i feel like the execution looks great materials look great and i think that's another reason why it's like hey if i want a premium shoe in a different color to switch it up i don't think it has to be one of those everyday rotation you know cop it in you know what i'm saying at a discount i think i'm gonna go for it uh, yeah, trying to get it at a good price, maybe on a trade or something like one of those type of scenarios. Yeah, because it's not gonna come out here. You, don't you know what I'm saying? I don't oh, think we in Oregon. I don't think it's gonna come out here. We don't get all the releases, which people think we do, which is fun. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't think this is gonna be one of those shoes that come out here. So because of that, we're gonna be in that scenario again. It might, and if it does, then I'm like, I might consider it and see. Yeah. But because of that, and I have to go and grab them somewhere else, or whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. That's my scenario. Let me take my time. I'll get them. Eventually, I'll grab them. Yeah. That's how I feel about them. I don't want them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with it. <laughs>
Today's partner is Sneaker Throne. They have multiple options when it comes to durable and high quality display cases. One of my personal favorites is the drop side display case. I'm a size 13 and I can easily fit my shoes inside of here and I have hundreds of these stacked throughout my rooms to display my sneakers. When it comes to the cases in particular, you have four different color options, clear, black, white, and red. So if you're looking at grabbing one of these for yourself or for someone else, make sure you guys check out sneakerthrone.com and don't forget to use the discount code DNA show at checkout for 10% off for all your orders. Okay, so this one, remember I was talking about, I saw these when I was in Japan. August, oh yeah, 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 was yeah. In, what was that, August? Yeah. Okay, and I was like, I should have got up here and made a review early, didn't even realize it. I thought they had already came out. No. So this is the white, black, semi-metallic Air Jordan 5s. Um, clean shoe, classic color block. You can't go wrong with all the right. different things. But it's a white shoe during the holiday time, so you know, that's another thing. They're dropping a lot of bright white shoes right the now. The only plus about this is, is you got the black on the bottom of the front. Which the allows you to rock it and, and get away with it, yeah. Because that's where you're going to really get dirty everything up. Mm -hmm. The lower part of the shoe. So, for me, this is one of those shoes that I'm like, if I was a beginner into the game and I'm just now starting to collect over the past few months or whatever, great addition to the collection. You can rock with a ton of stuff. It makes a lot of sense. But I'm in the position where I'm like, okay, I got 30, 40, 50 pairs of Jordan 5s alone. <laughs> All these different colors, everything's so similar. Do I wanna have this shoe in my collection? Right. Let me think about it. So I think for me, it's heavily on sale, probably is the only way I'll get it. Probably the max I would wanna spend on this shoe is 120 bucks. And me, I'm, I'm a five guy. So. Five guys. I would, yeah. you ever had five guys? <laughs> it's a running joke. <laughs> um, I'm a five guy. I would want the shoe. I would seek to get it. It's hard to get a 14. Again, if, if I got the shoe, it wouldn't be worn until 200 bucks. You know, that's still a good price for me because I like the fives, mm -hmm. right? And again, I would know I would be getting it for the future. Right. I wouldn't be getting it for right now. Right. Because right now, no. The, uh, and it, it kind of, yeah, that, that made me think about the, um, what's that other shoe you were saying you like? You like the 12s. Which 12s? In general. Yeah, the 5s like and the, the 12s. 12s. Mm -hmm. So this one will go along with that one. Because it kind of reminds me, uh, what's the one 12s we were talking about? The Barons? The black with the you gray. You be saying all the names. I Remember it was like black like... and it had the gray on the bottom? It was a Jordan 12. Remember it was all black leather and it had the gray on the bottom the gray the on front. the bottom. I'm trying to think what the shoe looked like. I'm drawing a blank right now. He's a shoe guy, you know, every shoe, every color, every name. It's like, it's kind of like this one. Uh, <laughs> it's this one, right? <laughs> yeah, you remember this one? You, you like and them? I said I wanted this shoe. <laughs> oh my God. It's a 14. <laughs> uh, he got me. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. I didn't plan on getting you this shoe. <laughs> Another one that's been sitting around for about a month. <laughs> but this shoe is so hard to me. Like, I was trying to, I was blank right there. It's like, but I remember this one. <laughs> He like trying to explain it. You know which one it is? You know? <laughs> no, this shoe right here, when I seen this shoe, I really like this shoe. <laughs> no, but I was saying that because same thing, both shoes, black, white, gray, like this is up your alley. Yeah. Makes sense. That's my style. Everybody that's knows style. that's my style. <laughs> Man, thank you. <laughs> he got me. <laughs> oh, but yeah, though, those is, um, like I said, that'd be something you would get and then hold until spring. Yeah. You know, yeah. bust them out wait till people trash their shoes might even wait another and go into the summer mm -hmm. you know and and then you wear them yeah but these go oh these might get worn tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> thanksgiving fit coming soon oh <laughs> they go to sweatshirt right now you might about oh. to go get saucy tonight hey hey i ain't gonna lie what can i i can't wear these with that bait outfit you can wear them with whatever you want to wear them with it's black and gray at this point it's a match Ooh. with anything Woo! Yo yeah, boy, you hooked up! <laughs> <laughs> oh right. my god. Next up. This I didn't one, know. Like, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, you clearly did not know. 
Oh. It's like, uh, I don't know, I'm drawing a blank here. You're hitting me with these names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you hit me with the names and all the stuff. Okay. The Columbia 11s, a.k.a. Are they called? They're not even calling them Columbia's. Legend Blue Columbia's. They're still calling them Legend Blue's? Blowing my mind. Either way, Columbia 11s. OG release. I have my previous retro release somewhere in here. Oh, right there. Um, and then I got a, and then there was a release in like 2014. Uh -huh. You got the low tops. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, and then we got this retro. So this is like the fifth iteration. Oh, and there's a football cleat. Uh, I got those two somewhere. So this is another one. You know me, I really like the Levens. I would get them. I would want those shoes. But again, all the white shoes them. coming out in December right now. I don't know right why now. they're doing all these white shoes in the winter. Yeah. Like it's not making sense to me. This is all spring, fall release kind of stuff. Yeah. I, I mean, know. spring, uh, well, summer okay, kind okay. Of so the only thing I can say about this one in particular is the Levens always release for Christmas. And they've done all the other OG colorways. Yeah. They so did at some point, they got to do this. You know what I'm saying? Blacks. They did the brands, the Space Jams, the Concords. Yeah, yeah. So at some point, they got to release the shoe during Christmas. Right. So for this one in particular, it makes, makes sense. sense. But the other ones, we didn't so damn near, much. all the shoes been white. <laughs> that we didn't went through damn near, right? right. You know it's like all yeah. been like that, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're getting, this one I cannot wait to just review versus the other version. It's gonna be tough. Give me some time, people. I have uh, some stuff going on very, very soon. Oh, should I let them know? I have a deal coming up. Wait a minute, what deal? You letting me know at the same time? I'm letting you know too. <laughs> It's juicy. With oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to really? be busy. I might have a... We ah. So... Hey, congratulations. Y'all <laughs> finding out what I'm finding out. Cause I didn't, he didn't tell me. They either. didn't find out. I just bleeped it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all going to find out later. <laughs> So give me some time. I'll make sure I get the reviews out. Just trust me. I'll get, I'm gonna do a comprehensive breakdown between the retros. And if stuff you leave that out, that's gonna be funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't wait to compare these to the previous retros. Wow. Um, well, congratulations, anyway. Thanks. <laughs> so yeah, I already got a pair uh, coming. They come out in the middle of the month. So they did a shock drop uh, a couple days ago. This one, another white shoe. But I don't know how they're doing it. These are clean. Those are clean. But again, see those at least you can wear. Okay, so because the bottom's not the white. The bottom's not white. So you got the cherry 12s. They're calling these the blueberries. No, them is blue. And that's worth it. These go hard. Those are real hard. These go hard. That's my color right there. This is just fire. And for me. Is it two pair? I need at least one for sure. A hundred percent. Yeah. What I they coming these. at it? 180? Uh, no, 200? 200. 210. 210. Yeah. So that 200, 210 is going to be the new benchmark. Huh? Yeah, for sure. For sure. We're getting into the new year. Oh, it's just so simple, so clean. Again, take any color of the rainbow, throw it on this shoe, whether it's like the Gary Payton 12, white and yellow, or if you got yep. the white and purple, yep. or, uh, you know, like the Kevin Martin PE, or you this name it. You There's just really so many wrong. different versions. And again, you just can't go wrong with that. It's, oh, yeah. it's just such a beautiful shoe. <laughs> okay, so one thing I can't say about those blueberry ones though, you see they had the blue tab on the side. Mm -hmm. Yours got the black tab where it's like gray. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing I didn't like about that shoe because it's supposed to be the same color where it matches all right this here. matches together, but they did a black tab. I like, like the black. I get it. You that's you got the shoe, you like it, you good. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just saying. Okay, next up right here. Dornbecker Children's Hospital. You know they do the releases every year. This time they got a young lady working on the shoe. And it is. Is that coming out in adult sizes? So this is what the mystery is. We're trying to figure it out. But look at the materials and everything. Look crazy. These look crazy. These look so dope. Oh, look at all the shoe strings. These look so dope. This is a shoe that even if I don't get it, like if they don't make it in my size, gotta, you gotta have, have it. I love sixes. Dornbecker collection, being here, hometown. You got every like, one of the Dornbeckers, It, just, it makes sense. Like, there's no way yeah. I'm not getting these. Yeah. Like, I have to get this shoe. So, for me, as soon as I found out, and I had to wait because the world needed to know after they did the launch and everything, but yeah. when, when I seen this a while ago, I was like, these are so dope. Like, 
And some people, again, you can make your critics and all those stuff. At the end of the day, this is a young kid telling their story. But that's what I'm saying. These like, are kids designing these yeah. shoes. And when you hear the story behind it, like, that's the most important thing about right. all this. But, yeah. Beautiful shoe. Excited about these. I'm hoping and praying they come in my size. I don't think they will, which is wild because, they, like, they always have done the, the Jordan in a men's extended size or something. Like, and they right. made it fit everybody type thing. I don't know. So... Those are just clean though. <sighs> yeah, these are hard. So if they do like a women's sizes, hopefully it's like extended, which means what? They're gonna tax for our size. <laughs> tax. But if they do a camp out again, if you guys haven't seen the camp out in the past, I camped out uh, at the last Stormbreaker release and that was that fun. That was crazy. It was fun. Yeah, that video was Isn't actually... that where the dude got in the car wreck? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta go find that video. I got so many stories like from past campouts and like this was a prime example of like you had to be there but like we actually caught it on film because like now I'll be recording videos before I was just camping out and had these wild yeah, stories of like it. things happening. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do we got right here? Okay. Next step. Oh, before. Speaking of stories. Okay. This is like a great story. So you guys know I got a new car, right? My dad got me a toy Lambo. I'll pop up the picture. So, I got him a little toy as well. Uh, <laughs> hey. I wanted to return the favor. Let's see. There you go. It's a toy version oh. of my car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, thank you. No, because... Y'all don't know, like, we do little kind of small gifts and stuff, like little trinket <laughs> stuff. But it's also, it's a set to where you're trying to go. Yeah. He had been talking about getting a Lambo forever. And I was like, you know, this is what you do. At least you get it and you can visualize it sitting yeah. on your desk. Yeah. Like, visualize that. And then now I can visualize this. But you know what? I got to tell you this. This car, the new car, he goes, you want to drive it? I go, no. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is too fast. It's too nice, and I don't know. I said, I'll be in a passenger seat. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. But this is dope. I'm excited. <laughs> this is dope. I saw it all. I was like, I got to get him one yeah. to go so that he got one. I'm going to have one. I'm going to put this in my room, too. <laughs> this is dope. Okay. I might put it on my dash. <laughs> get a little mount, stick it on there. Well, because the I got that spot. I oh, got that yeah. spot where it can sit in there and just go back and forth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Last shoe, here we go. Travis Scott, Air Jordan 1 Low OG, Velvet Brown. Brown shoe. But well, this one's all brown and black. But you know what though? These go hard. These are better. I don't care what people say. I've been hearing some people, oh, Travis Scott, there's too many colorways coming out. Oh, no, no, no. And I'm taking it. I think this is one of the best stuff. ones. I'm like, to me. at the end of the day, if they're gonna keep dropping them, and they look like this, because I wear the black phantoms all the time, and this is another great, I can mix this in. Yeah. Oh, you can't wear it with it. It's a brown shoe, it's clean, fall time, you name it. You could throw this with so many outfits because it's just one solid color. Like, right. this is gonna be great. So for me, yeah. I'm excited. Again, I don't love every single Travis One Low, and they're not all the best colorways ever and all the other stuff. Right. I'm gonna rank them as I do and say, hey, I like this one more than that one and all the other things. This one up here, I'm like middle, top half of the bunch, in my opinion. This one's clean. I think they're clean. I, I said earlier, I don't wear a lot of brown, but this is one I would go, okay, I would wear. It just looks nice. You yeah, they did good on that. Like, if you really think about it and break it down, like, the quality on the Travis One Lows is better than OG One Lows, the retros that are coming out. Yeah. The cut is better than them. The packaging is better. Like, everything is just That's better. That's the trip they added to get. At the end of the day, with. whether you like the color blocking or not, it's no. better. It's a better shoe. It's a they better a quality job product. And you get the, the wax laces, multiple laces. All the different stuff. So that's a good looking shoe. this is the shoe that's ending the year with the bang. And um, there's always that one shoe that they try to squeak in right before the New Year's. And you're like, damn, I got to get these. I got to get Yeah, it. you're trying to make your top 10 list. And you're like, there's one more shoe coming I wonder, up. I wonder how many people are going to rush out to get this shoe. Well, OK, let's let's talk about that real quick. I don't know where my hair is at. I just got the. Actually, I think I put them away. Um, the Travis One Low OG. There's like eight different colorways at this point now mm -hmm. that have come out. Mm -hmm. And people are like, when are they gonna stop? What, you know, we need this to be over with. And other people's like, oh, keep it coming. One thing I can say is, people may or may not be rushing out to get the shoe. 
the prices are finally settling at a way better price. Uh -huh. Before it was twelve hundred dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, thousand dollars, nine fifty, like all this stuff. Now it's like oh, I can go get a pair for four fifty. That's cool. that. And they're like, oh, four fifty too much. Well, it's a third of what it was before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so you still gonna complain? But at the end of the day, it's half or a third of the price. Right. So I, I'm not mad at that. Right. That's a start. That like, make that's it more cool. accessible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You might you could trade two GRs and get this one, and now you got a heater in your collection, or you could That'd do this. Cool. That, you know what I'm saying? Take one of your GRs and a, and a couple hundred bucks that you missed. That you took an L on this shoe. Great. Take the money from that one and put it towards this one. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of different options to be able to go and get out. A nice a premium a better shoe and you know a more hype shoe and you could check a lot of the boxes whether it's you're chasing the hype or well, you want a nice yeah product, but a shoe like that you actually like travis i think like you said if you did trade up into that people gonna know you got those on yeah you know they can say what they want but they gonna know you got those on yeah it ain't no no accident because then they're gonna say something that's they're gonna, gonna say, say something, something. They, Ooh, yeah I, I see you yep you know that i see you <laughs> Nah, that's the thing. And again, like I said, there's still hype around Travis Scott. There's still hype around these models, hype around these colors. It's not the best ones ever. At the end of the day, these aren't sitting on shelves, going for retail, going on sale, all the different stuff. Right. So at the end of the day, that's what it is. You what can like that? it for the hype. You can like it for liking it or not. You can buy what you like. That's the most important thing. For me, I like to complete sets. And there's ones that I'm missing still from that low top one set that I'm like, I'll take my time. Gonna bop I'm you. not paying crazy. Like, we'll get them when we get them. And there's yeah, other ones that I'm like, let me try to go after that. Like, I think this is one of those ones. Yeah. That was a good looking shoe. But I think out of all the shoes, I think I only got like three. Which ones? That I would say I got. That you like? like? I would like to have, you know. Which ones? Because I got some of them over here. We gonna... <laughs> I know you like these ones. This, this boy is so funny. I mean, young man. Oh, yeah. This right here. This shoe is crazy to me. This is another, look at this. Ah! Hold, on, hold on, hold on, One, two. That's two, you said you only like three. No, 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 no. I was actually talking about what was coming out. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh you're talking about new releases. <laughs> yeah. Which one, that one? No. So, no, this, this is my one. number one. Well, not, yeah, I got some high tops and some other stuff, but. So out of all those. This one. Y'all, okay, I'm gonna count these out as one, two, three. This is one. We gotta make the, we gotta remake the ranking video too. This is two. Cause there's some new drops. This is gonna be good. This is three. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Four. The ranking. This is five. So my question to you guys. Oh, out of those. Those numbers, okay, I just okay. said, what number do you put in order for your, for your top three? Okay. So now that you can do that. So you see my one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Now, my choice is. Find out in tomorrow's episode. It's going to be <laughs> a video that we're about to make. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap this thing up. All right, so y'all watch the next video on the rankings. Out of these shoes, give me three shoes. Like I'm only picking three for this month. What is it gonna be? Is, are there even three shoes that you want this month? That's what I'm saying. I actually the golf shoe. Okay, so the high top golf shoe. Yep. Black and gold. Yep. Okay. The number eleven. Uh huh. The Columbia Elevens. Yep. And the fives. And the uh, metallic silver fives. Yep. Okay. Not the twelves or the fives, or the. But look at the color. Yeah. Like those are my colors I wear the most. I feel you. The 12, I love it, but I couldn't wear it as much. I think- I love the Travis. It's a great looking shoe. I wouldn't wear it as much. I think for me, Columbia 11, I already got a pair. Uh, Dornbreaker 6. No, I'm gonna go Dornbreaker 6 first. Dornbreaker 6 first. Then we'll go Columbia 11 second. And honestly, I'm kind of debating between the... <clears throat> I'm debating between these Soulfly 12s, these Travis 1 lows, and uh -huh. the 12s. It's hard. I think I'm gonna go with the blue 12s because when I saw those, 
I got more hyped about those than I did those Travis Scott's. The Travis Scott is a good looking shoe. They're clean. But again, for me, where wearing them, like what can I wear? Yeah. Mix and match. Man, I'll be wearing you my know? black phantoms every day. They got holes in the back of them now. <laughs> it's crazy. I'll be right. I was showing the laces the other day. Wow. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. You got a pair of shoes with a holes in it? Yeah. I didn't even Yo, know. Y'all, here it is. He got all these shoes and he got a pair of shoes with a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like in the heel part, like the mesh on the inside, it's like holes in it. We need to fix this. Cause he need to be in a better surrounding yeah. where he can afford some shoes without no holes. I know. This is sad. Donation, send if them my so, way. If somebody's seen this man walking around with holes in his shoes, I'm telling you, they gotta talk bad. <laughs> <laughs> I like them, I like them. <laughs> okay, uh, that's gonna do it. We'll see you guys in another one. Make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. Get him to 10,000 followers on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Everything's gonna be tagged down below. Yo, Linked in out. the bio, tagged at the... See, look, the camera even cut us off. All right, we got anything else? No, just do the numbers and then check for the next video. We're gonna do a ranking video on those uh, Travis Scott's. Oh yeah, we got that one coming up. Yeah. We got the uh, we got a few videos to do. We've been, we've been busy, terribly busy. Yeah, it's the end of the year, trying to wrap things up, yeah. get ready for next year. Yep, there's a lot of stuff going on. I hope we can knock out some videos for you guys, and you guys can check them out. But don't think we neglected and don't want to do this. Wait, wait, before we go, let's shout out to. Oh what what? <laughs> shout out to who? Shout out to. Let's do a shout out to you to me yep let's do a shout out to you <laughs> for being the father figure that we all love and the father figure that we all love to hate <laughs> no. <laughs> i appreciate that no nah, but i think uh it's been dope to be able to continue to make videos you know at least getting together once a month and and showing just genuine love for sneakers having conversation right because not that many people get to sit down and talk with their dad for 20 minutes, 15 minutes, right. let alone, you know, 30 minutes or an hour for us making the video, plus, you know, talking shit after, and the next thing you right. know, you stay here at the crib, and you, But we've been together all day, four, four hours. Yeah, and we've been together all day, right? <laughs> Went to the movies earlier, did all this other stuff, right. went out to eat, you name it. But uh, not everybody has the opportunity. So it's dope to be able to showcase it, and then do it in a very organic way, and not just like, forcing nothing, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, you're gonna make me and, cry, I ain't trying to cry, but no, <laughs> I thank you. Uh, shout out for anybody that liked the videos and get the same connection with a child, boy or girl, um, because people come up to us at events and go, hey, I get to do some of this with my kid and introduce my kid into some of this stuff mm -hmm. while they're young. And so I'm happy about people getting that connection. Yeah. And there's some people that said to us that they don't have a father and they do watch our stuff and they do appreciate the bond that we have. So yeah. I thank you guys for that too as well. Yeah, and um, I don't know. No more mushy shit. We'll see you guys later. Love, peace, and grace. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. Hey, hey, the hey, only problem. choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. The only choice 